Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you how I'm paying down my debt by using the debt snowball method inspired by Dave Ramsey. In my previous video, I spoke about earning extra money and using it to pay down debt and I will leave the link here or and in the description box below. Uh, thumbs up this video if you are working on a debt-free journey. Let me know how that's working out for you. What stage are you in um, in your journey? So we can just share some thoughts. We can share tips and tricks on how to get this beast, this debt, uh, out of our lives once and for all. So... Um, I did a Google search for debt snowball spreadsheet um, and a few things came up. I kind of liked this spreadsheet from Life and My Finances. It's a debt snowball calculator and I saved it on my desktop. So first thing what I did, I listed on paper my debts from smallest to largest. And then I went to the spreadsheet and in this column right here says monthly extra, which means that's the extra money that you'll have every month to go towards paying off your debt. So basically, as it says right here, it is the beyond the minimum debt payment that you would normally pay. OK, and then in this box. It is a one time startup. So say you had an extra hundred dollars outside of the monthly extra that you have, you can put towards the debt payment. It is not, you know, it's an optional. I had an extra two hundred dollars from a bonus. So I added it in. So on my spreadsheet, I wrote out from smallest, as it says here in this column, from smallest debt all the way over to your largest debt. I wrote out all my cards, um, personal loans, school debt, because I have some balances that I need to pay in order for them to release my credits. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I've been waiting for that for the longest. Um, car loan and mortgage. So first thing what you want to do is. Type in your balances, which for my New York and company credit card was $115. The minimum payment was $25. And I kind of guess ballpark what my interest rate was. And I, it was around 21.9%. So with the monthly extra and the one-time startup, I was able to pay off my New York and company Victoria's Secret, Capital One, and then a good portion, pretty much almost half of my Tires Plus card, all with this these funds right here. So that would be in month, the first month. And then as you can see, the following um, debts is my minimum payment. So for this school is 125 because that's what I listed as my minimum payment. For Discover, my minimum payment is 60. So it listed uh, $60 there, so on and so forth. So for month two, which is I paid off, let's see, I started off at the end of January for these three two and three and a half. So for the month of February is where I'm really going to get in and start paying off more of this debt. So in the month of February, which would be month two, I will pay 347. And then my tires plus card will be at a zero balance. Uh, for Columbia, I'll pay 683 because that is a total of the minimums plus 
whatever uh, extra that you had. So it's going to split it up between the next couple of debts to even out, <clears throat> even out the money. Excuse me. So and then I'll go ahead and pay my minimum sixty dollars for Discover. In month three, I'll pay a lump sum to Columbia, and then a little bit more to Discover. And as you can see, uh, my this is my personal loan. So for four months, I'll pay my personal loan, the regular monthly payment. And then in the fifth month, once Discover is paid off, in the fifth month, then I'll start putting a little extra towards uh, my personal loan. And then that'll be paid off. And then it just rolls on over. It just snowballs from one debt to the next. Okay. So according to this spreadsheet, and for me to be dedicated to this, I will pay off all of my debt by the middle of next year with an exception to my mortgage. With my mortgage, it's calculating. It'll take me about seven years to pay off. It might be a little more, a little less, depending on if what you know, comes my way, but I'm trying to stick with this because I just want to be able to just work and have extra money and not worry about, oh my gosh, I have to pay all these minimum payments, interest rates are killing me, so on and so forth. So yeah, um, thumbs up this video. If you enjoyed this, um, leave a comment below to let me know your debt-free journey or if you want to join like create a forum for uh all anyone who wants to join we can do be accountability partners and say hey you know how are you doing um with your debt payment you know it, it's great to have some support so you won't fall off the wagon uh, that's about it um if you have any questions please leave your questions below in the comment section and I'll be sure to respond back to you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.